Well, let me talk a little bit about vaping. The first thing I want to say is sometimes it feels like lots of people you know vape. It actually turns out if you look at the studies of teens all across the US, most teens actually choose not to vape. So if you're not vaping, you're in the healthy majority. And I've got a few reasons why you might not want to start in the first place. The first thing to know about vaping nicotine is that the concentration of nicotine in a vape is pretty high. And the other thing that happens is, you know, some teens will vape in between classes in the bathroom or kind of throughout the day in other ways. It means that you're constantly exposing your body to levels of nicotine and it's really easy to get addicted quickly when you're vaping nicotine. And so as a pediatrician, I take care of lots of teens who are struggling with nicotine and vaping and it's really hard for them to stop. Something that might have been once enjoyable becomes really unenjoyable. A lot of teens I care for are dependent on nicotine, meaning that when they try to stop and they go cold turkey, all of a sudden they get irritable, they get anxious, they start to sweat, they start to shake, and they can't concentrate, and it's really miserable. So a lot of the teens that I care for need to go on certain medications to help them quit nicotine, things like nicotine patches and nicotine gum. So I really recommend that you don't start nicotine at all in the first place, but if you or somebody you know is struggling with nicotine, make sure you reach out to a trusted adult and or talk to your pediatrician about it because we have a lot of tools to help and we really want to.